some research has shown uh, in this, that, that, that you have, that, that early in, in educational impulses have increasing returns. So, so you, the earlier you start and the, the more effective effects you have already at very young ages. So the more, essentially the more kids learn at the young ages, the more it will learn afterwards and the more easily it will learn, it will be able to learn. So, but that's of course a very broad picture. You could think of activation as that. We start in the beginning, we make sure from a, in terms from a lifeline perspective, we make sure that this activation is something that continues, is continuously present. And the earlier we start, the more likely it is that it will have an increasing and, and a sustainable effect on the, on, 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 uh, on, the, uh, on the person, on the child. From a more specific perspective, of course, right at this moment in, in specific countries, there are groups that are now 20, 30, 40, 50 years old and that are in need of help. We cannot turn back the clock and say, okay, we start with them when they're three years old and then we do the best in terms of activation. So that, that's why you need specific programs for specific groups that have specific needs. And then that would be a, a narrow definition of activation. So we're looking at activation. How do we get 50-year-old male people in Latin America um, who work in an informal job, how do we get them into a formal job to be able to continuously support their family, et cetera, et cetera. 